Well, good evening. We'll begin here in just a few moments. Again, good evening. I am Father Jay. I'm priest at Corpus Christi Anglican Church in Rogers, Arkansas of the Holy Catholic Church Anglican Rite. And this is evening prayer from my private chapel using the 1928 Book of Common Prayer with additional prayers. We will be reading from the third set of proffers if you're following along in the prayer book or on the online format. And we will begin in just a moment. Let us begin. The Lord be with you. Let my prayer be set forth in thy sight as the incense, and let the lifting up of my hands be an evening sacrifice. O oh, worship the Lord in the beauty of holiness. Let the whole earth stand in awe of him. Let the words of my mouth and the meditation of my heart be always acceptable in thy sight. O oh, Lord, my strength and my Redeemer. Christ has not entered into the holy places made with hands, which are the figures of the true, but into heaven itself, now to appear in the presence of God for us. Let us humbly confess our sins unto Almighty God, praying together. Almighty and most merciful Father, we have erred and strayed from thy ways like lost sheep. We have followed too much the devices and desires of our own hearts. We have offended against thy holy laws. We have left undone those things which we ought to have done. And we have done those things which we ought not to have done. And there is no help in us. But thou, O Lord, have mercy upon us miserable offenders. Spare thou those, O God, who confess their faults. Restore thou those who are penitent according to thy promises, declared unto mankind in Christ Jesus our Lord. And grant the most merciful Father for his sake, that we may hereafter live a godly, righteous, and sober life, to the glory of thy holy name. Amen. The Almighty and merciful Lord grant you absolution and remission of all your sins, true repentance, amendment of life, and the grace and consolation of his Holy Spirit. Amen. Praying together the Lord's Prayer. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. O Lord, open thou our lips, and our mouth shall show forth thy praise. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Ghost, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Praise ye the Lord. The Lord's name be praised. The psalm readings for this evening are from the third set of propers, Psalm 97 and Psalm 110. Psalm 97 The Lord is king, the earth may be glad thereof. Yea, the multitude of the isles may be glad thereof. Clouds and darkness are round about him. Righteousness and judgment are the habitation of his seat. There shall go a fire before him and burn up his enemies on every side. His lightnings gave shine unto the world. The earth saw it and was afraid. The hills melted like wax at the presence of the Lord, at the presence of the Lord of the whole earth. The heavens have declared his righteousness, 
and all the peoples have seen his glory. Confounded be all they that worship carved images, and that delight in vain gods. Worship him, all ye gods. Sion heard of it, and rejoiced, and the daughters of Judah were glad, because of thy judgments, O Lord. For thou, Lord, art higher than all that are in the earth. Thou art exalted far above all gods. O ye that love the Lord, see that ye hate the thing which is evil. The Lord preserveth the souls of his saints. He shall deliver them from the hand of the ungodly. There is sprung up a light for the righteous, and joyful gladness for such as are true-hearted. Rejoice in the Lord, ye righteous, and give thanks for a remembrance of his holiness. Psalm 110 The Lord said unto my Lord, Sit thou on my right hand, until I make thine enemies thy footstool. The Lord shall send the rod of thy power out of Zion. Be thou ruler, even in the midst among thine enemies. In the day of thy power shall thy people offer themselves willingly with a holy worship. Thy young men come to see thee as dew from the womb of the morning. The Lord swear and will not repent. Thou art a priest forever after the order of Melchizedek. The Lord upon thy right hand shall wound even kings in the day of his wrath. He shall judge among the heathen. He shall fill the places with the dead bodies and smite in sunder the heads over diverse countries. He shall drink of the brook in the way. Therefore shall he lift up his head. Glory be to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Ghost, as it was in the beginning, is now and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. The first lesson from the third set of Proverbs is from the seventh chapter of Daniel, verses 9 through 10 and 13 through 14. I beheld till the thrones were cast down, and the Ancient of Days did sit, whose garment was white as snow, and the hair of his head like the pure wool. His throne was like the fiery flame, and his wheels as burning fire. A fiery stream issued and came forth from him, from before him. Thousands, thousand of thousands ministered unto him, and ten thousand times ten thousand stood before him. The judgment was set, and the books were opened. I saw in the night vision, and behold, one like the Son of Man came with the clouds of heaven, and came to the Ancient of Days, and they brought him near before him. And there was given him dominion, glory, and a kingdom that all people, nations, and languages should serve him. His dominion is an everlasting dominion, which shall not pass away, and his kingdom that which shall not be destroyed. Here ends the first lesson. Thanks be to God. Saying together the Magnificat. My soul doth magnify the Lord, and my spirit hath rejoiced in God my Savior. For he hath regarded the lowliness of his handmaiden. For behold, from henceforth all generations shall call me blessed. For he that is mighty hath magnified me, and holy is his name. And his mercy is on them that fear him throughout all generations. He hath showed strength with his arm. He hath scattered the proud in the imagination of their hearts. He hath put down the mighty from their seat, and hath exalted the humble and meek. He hath filled the hungry with good things, and the rich he hath sent empty away. He remembering his mercy hath hope in his servant Israel, as he promised to our forefathers, Abraham and his seed forever. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Ghost, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. The second lesson from the third set of propers is Revelation chapter 22. And he showed me a pure river of water, of life, clear as crystal, proceeding out of the throne of God and of the Lamb, in the midst of the street of it. And on either side of the river was there a tree of life, which bare twelve manner of fruits, and yielded her fruit every month. And the leaves of the tree were for the healing of the nations, and there shall be no more curse, but the throne of God and the Lamb shall be in it, and his servants shall serve him, and they shall see his face, and his name shall be in their foreheads, and there shall be no night there, and they need no candle, neither light of the sun, 
for the Lord God giveth them light, and they shall reign for ever and ever. And he said unto me, These sayings are faithful and true. And the Lord God of the holy prophets sent his angel to show unto his servants that things must much shortly be done. Behold, I come quickly. Blessed is he that keepeth the sayings of the prophecy of this book. And I, John, saw these things and heard them. But when I had heard and seen, I fell down and worshipped before the feet of the angel, which showed me these things. Then saith he unto me, See thou do it not, for I am thy fellow servant, and of thy brethren the prophets, and of them which keep the sayings of this book. Worship God, he saith unto me, Seal not the sayings of the prophecy of this book, for the time is at hand. He that is unjust, let him be unjust still. And, and he which is filthy, let him be filthy still. And he that is righteous, let him be righteous still. And he that is holy, let him be holy still. And behold, I come quickly, and my reward is with me, to give every man according as his work shall be. I am Alpha and Omega, the beginning of the end, the first and the last. Blessed are they that do his commandments, that they may have right to the tree of life, and may enter in through the gates into the city. For without are dogs and sorcerers and whoremongers and murderers and idolaters, and whosoever loveth and maketh a lie. I, Jesus, have sent mine angel to testify unto you these things in the churches. I am the root and the offspring of David and the bright and morning star. And the Spirit and the bride say, Come, and let him that heareth say, Come, and let him that is a thirst come. And whosoever will let, let him take the waters of life freely. For I testify unto every man that heareth the words of the prophecy of this book. If any man shall add unto these things, God shall add unto him the plagues that are written in this book. And if any man shall take away from the words of this book of this prophecy, God shall take away his part out of the book of life, and out of the holy city, and from the things which are written in this book. He which testifieth, testifieth these things saith, Surely I come quickly. Amen. Even so, come, Lord Jesus. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with you all. Amen. Here endeth the second lesson. Saying together the nunc dimittis. Lord, now lettest thou thy servant depart in peace, according to thy word. For mine, enemy, for mine eyes have seen thy salvation, which thou hast prepared before the face of all people, to be a light to lighten the Gentiles, and to be the glory of thy people Israel. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Ghost, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. And now let us renew and affirm our faith together by stating the Nicene Creed. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, and of all things visible and invisible, and in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, begotten of his Father before all worlds, God of God, light of light, very God of very God, begotten not made, being of one substance with the Father, by whom all things were made, who for us men and for our salvation came down from heaven, and was incarnate by the Holy Ghost of the Virgin Mary, and was made man, and was crucified also for us under Pontius Pilate. He suffered and was buried, and the third day he rose again according to the Scriptures, and ascended into heaven, and sitteth on the right hand of the Father. And he shall come again with glory to judge both the quick and the dead, whose kingdom shall have no end. And I believe in the Holy Ghost, the Lord and giver of life, who proceedeth from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son together is worshipped and glorified, who spake by the prophets. And I believe one holy Catholic and apostolic church. I acknowledge one baptism for the remission of sins, and I look for the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. The Lord be with you. Let us pray. O Lord, show thy mercy upon us, and grant us thy salvation. O Lord, save the state, and mercifully hear us when we call upon thee. 
endue thy ministers with righteousness, and make thy chosen people joyful. O Lord, save thy people, and bless thine inheritance. Give peace in our time, O Lord, for it is thou, Lord, only that makest us dwell in safety. O God, may clean our hearts within us, and take not thy Holy Spirit from us. O God, the King of glory, who hast exalted thine only Son, Jesus Christ, with great triumph unto thy kingdom in heaven, we beseech thee, leave us not comfortless, but send to us thine Holy Ghost to comfort us, and exalt us unto the same place whither our Savior Christ is gone before, who liveth and reigneth with thee in the same Holy Ghost, one God, world without end. Amen. Grant, we beseech thee, Almighty God, that like as we do believe thy only begotten Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, to have ascended into the heavens, so we may also in heart and mind thither ascend, and with him continually dwell, who liveth and reigneth with thee in the Holy Ghost, one God, world without end. Amen. O God, from whom all holy desires, all good counsels, and all just works do proceed, <clears throat> Give unto thy servants that peace which the world cannot give, that our hearts may be set to obey thy commandments, and also that by thee, we being defended from the fear of our enemies, may pass our time in rest and quietness, through the merits of Jesus Christ our Savior. Amen. Lighten our darkness, we beseech thee, O Lord, and by thy great mercy, defend us from all perils and dangers of this night. For the love of thy only Son, our Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen. A prayer for the President of the United States and all in civil authority. Almighty God, whose kingdom is everlasting and power infinite, have mercy upon this whole land, and so rule the hearts of thy servants, the President of the United States, Donald Trump, the governors of these states, and all others in authority, that they, knowing whose ministers they are, may above all things seek thy honor and glory and that we and all the people duly considering whose authority they bear may faithfully and obediently honor them according to thy blessed word and ordinance through Jesus Christ our Lord who with thee and the Holy Ghost liveth and reigneth ever one God world without end. Amen. A prayer for the bishop of our diocese. O God, the pastor and ruler of thy faithful servants, Look down in thy mercy upon thy servant Leo Michael, our bishop, to whom thou hast given charge over this diocese. Evermore guide, defend, comfort, and save him, and grant that he with the flock committed to his charge may attain everlasting life. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. <clears throat> A prayer for all the clergy. Almighty and everlasting God, who from whom cometh every good and perfect gift. Send down upon all bishops and priests and deacons, and upon the congregations committed to their charge, the healthful spirit of thy grace, and that they may truly please thee. Pour upon them the continual dew of thy blessing. Grant this, O Lord, for the honor of our advocate and mediator, Jesus Christ. Amen. A prayer for those without the church. O Lord Jesus Christ, who art the way, the truth, and the life, have mercy upon those without thy fold, wandering in error, and bring them to a knowledge of thy truth. Unite them to thee by the sacraments of thy love, that partaking of the blessedness of thy grace in this life, they may dwell with thee in the life everlasting. Who livest and reigneth with the Father and the Holy Ghost, one God, world without end. Amen for the conversion of sinners. O Almighty God, we beseech thee to hear our prayers for all such as sin against thee or neglect to serve thee, that thou wouldst bestow upon them true contrition and an earnest desire to devote themselves to thy holy service. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. A prayer for all conditions of mankind. O God, the creator and preserver of all mankind, we humbly beseech thee for all sorts and conditions of men, that thou wast be pleased to make thy ways known unto them, thy saving health unto all nations. 
Lord, especially we pray for thy holy church universal, that it may be so guided and governed by thy good spirit, that all who profess and call themselves Christians may be led into the way of truth and hold the faith in the unity of spirit and the bond of peace and unrighteousness of life. Finally, we command that thou follow the goodness all those who are in any ways afflicted or distressed in mind, body, or estate. And I invite you to state your own intentions at this time. And I especially pray for all those suffering persecution throughout the world. I pray the comfort of your Holy Spirit will be upon them and strengthen them to make them bold to preach the gospel and to grow your church. I pray for all those who are hurting and suffering throughout the world, in our own nation, and in our own communities. We pray for our friends and our families. We pray for all the members of our churches that whatever needs come their way, O oh Lord, you would heal them and grant them peace, grant them strength, and grant them hope. And we pray for all, for their unmentioned needs and sufferings, that it may please you to comfort and relieve them according to their several necessities, giving them patience under their sufferings and a happy issue of all their afflictions. And this we beg for Jesus Christ's sake. Amen. Praying together the general thanksgiving. Almighty God, Father of all mercies, we, thine unworthy servants, do give thee most humble and hearty thanks for all thy goodness and loving kindness to us and to all men. We bless thee for our creation, preservation, and all the blessings of this life, but above all for thine inestimable love and the redemption of the world by our Lord Jesus Christ, for the means of grace and for the hope of glory. And we beseech thee, give us that due sense of all thy mercies, that our hearts may be unfeignedly thankful, and that we shall forth thy praise not only with our lips but in our lives, by giving up ourselves to thy service, and by walking before thee in holiness and righteousness all our days, through Jesus Christ our Lord, to whom with thee and the Holy Ghost be all honor and glory, world without end. Amen. Almighty God, who has given us grace at this time with one accord to make our common supplications unto thee, and has promised that when two or three are gathered together in thy name, thou wilt grant their request. Fulfill now, O Lord, the desires and petitions of thy servants, as may be most expedient for them. Granting us in this world knowledge of thy truth, and in the world to come, life everlasting. Amen. Praying together, the Angelus. The angel of the Lord declared unto Mary, and she conceived by the Holy Ghost. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Behold the handmaid of the Lord, be it unto me according to thy word. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. And the Word was made flesh and dwelt among us. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Pray for us, O Holy Mother of God that we may be made worthy of the promises of Christ. We beseech thee, O Lord, pour thy grace into our hearts, that as we have known the incarnation of thy Son, Jesus Christ, by the message of an angel, so by his cross and passion, we may be brought into the glory of his resurrection. Through the same Christ our Lord. Amen. Now may the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Ghost be with us all evermore. Amen. Here ends the order for evening prayer. Thanks be to God. But God bless all who have joined and for those who have later listened to this recording. 
May God bless you, and may he keep you always. Amen.